Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I am going to be answering question number six from my endotopic worksheet on explanations of logarithms, which corresponds to question number three from the Solomon D C3 collection. Um, this is from my P3 worksheet, as, as well as I said. And this is a question where we have to, first of all, we're told that given that y equals lin x, find expressions for, in terms of y for log to the base 2x. So I've got to change this and write it in terms of y. Now, I know y equals lin x. So if I make these in terms of lin x, I can then replace the lin x with y. So I've got to change log to the base 2x in terms of lin x. Okay, now there's a number of ways I could do this. Okay, one of the ways I can do this is by using kind of like first principles, just, you know, change this using first principles. So I can say this is, for example, let me call it another letter. I can't use Y, Y is already there. So let me, for example, let me call it P. Now, if I rewrite this now in index form, if I rewrite this in index form, we've got the two is the, the base, the P is the power, and that's going to be equal to X. Two to the power of P equals X. Now, I want to make it into log to the base E, lin. So I'm going to take the log to the base e, or the lin of both sides. Remember, lin it's of x actually means log to the base e of x. It's just written in shorthand form. It means log to the base of the natural number, and e is known as a natural number. So that's what it actually means, but it's written in this form. Okay, so I'm going to take the lin of both sides. Why? Because I want to change this to the base e. If I wanted to change to the base 10, I would take the log to the base 10 of both sides. If I wanted to change to the base 57, I would take log to the base of 57 of both sides. So I want to make it into, in terms of lin x, so log to the base e. So I'm going to take the lin of both sides. So I'm going to take the lin of this side, which gives me lin of 2 to the power of p. I'm also going to take the lin of this side, so I get lin x. Now I can rearrange this um, using the power law. So p times lin 2 equals lin x. And then finally, I can say P is equal to lin X over lin 2. Okay, and we know that Y is equal to lin X. So I can therefore say P, which we remember P was what we started off with. We said log to the base 2 X equals P. So now I can say, therefore, log to the base 2 of X is equal to lin X over lin 2, lin 2. So therefore, I can say that's equal to y because y is equal to lin x y divided by lin 2 okay so there we have the answer to our question part a we've now expressed um log to the base 2x in terms of um y we've changed it first in terms of uh, we change it first to we, we change it uh, we, we we change the base to the, to lin and then we replace the lin x with y. Okay, now we could have also done the same thing using this formula, which is found in the P2 formula book. Which, um, when you go to your exam, you can you know have access to all the different formulas from the different you know components. So this is found in the in the formula book. This is under logarithms, and you can see here that this formula we could use if you wanted to to change the base to base e. So if you, if you apply this directly, you could say, oh, log to the base 2x is equal to. So we're going to write the log. You see you have a fraction. On the, on the numerator, have the new base, which is going to be log to the base e, which you can say lin. And same on the denominator. You have the same, um, you know, the same thing. You have lin. Okay, you have the new base. And then on the numerator, you can see you've got like the old uh, number that was, you could say, raised to that base. So that's going to be, the, the x and on the denominator you have the old base okay you have the old base written as the main number so that's going to be the old base which was 2 so you have lin x over lin 2 and then we can say therefore you know th that that's equal to lin x is equal to y so you have y over lin 2 so you could use the formula if you wanted to I've just shown you how to do it from first principles almost now part 2 it says express lin x squared over e in terms of um, y. Okay, so this is not so bad. Lin x squared over e. Using the laws of lo logarithms, you can split this 
using the division law. So we know that lin x squared over e can be split up into lin x squared minus lin e. And lin x squared can be expressed as 2 lin x minus lin e using the power law. Now we know that lin x is equal to y. Okay, so I can replace now the lin x with y. So I'm going to have 2y. And we know lin e is 1. So 2y minus 1. So we, we can say lin of x squared over e is the same as 2y minus 1. Okay, and we also got log to the base 2x is equal to y over lin 2. And now we can go on to part b. And part b, we're asked, um, and it says, hence or otherwise, solve this equation. Hence or otherwise. Now, normally when you have a question that involves hence, um, it, it's basically you have to look at the, the previous answer and use your results to solve you know, what you're asked to solve. Okay, and um, otherwise is normally more difficult than hence. Okay, sometimes they don't even say otherwise. Okay, sometimes they don't say otherwise. So you have to um, sometimes know how to deal with this only using the previous answer. Okay, so here, you know, we could uh, solve this in, in different ways. We could change the base to the same base and then we could you know split this up and then we could basically uh, solve it all right however it's kind of like they've already when you've done all this changing the base up here and stuff you've kind of like done a lot of the work already um it's already been done we've changed the base of this we've split this up and it's in terms of why so what we can do is um you know if we use the hence it's normally going to be easier okay and I will go through it in that method. So it says log to the base 2x equals 4 minus lin x squared over e. So you see that already this has been changed to the base to, to in terms of lin. Okay, so the base has been changed of this already. And that gave us y over lin 2. y over lin 2 is equal to, and you got 4 minus, and then we got what we had before, or what we had to change in part 2, was lin x squared over e. So I could just replace that with 2y minus 1. Okay, so that's already done for us. So now we have to solve this equation, and then in the end, we have to find what x is. So remember, our uh, original statement they, they gave us was y equals lin x. So if you remember that as well, y equals lin x. In the end, I'm going to find what x is. But this will help me find what y is first. So if I um, basically just simplify that bracket first, this is 4 minus minus 1, which is 5, minus 2y. Now, I'm going to multiply by lin2 to get rid of the fraction. So I'm going to have um, y equals 5 lin2 minus 2y lin2. I now want to make y the subject. So I'll bring the y's together on one side. So y plus 2y lin2 equals 5 lin2. And now what I can do, I'll just make a bit of space. I can make that straight look very straight to me okay now what I can do here is I can um, bring the y's together now I can take y as common in these two terms so I can say that y and 1 plus 2 lin 2 is equal to 5 lin 2 so I can say y is equal to 5 lin 2 now 5 lin 2 I can write as lin 2 to the power of 5, which is lin 32, over 1 plus 2 lin, or, or I can write that as lin 4, just to make it easy to put my calculator, 1 plus lin 4. So I'll just use the power law for this and for this. 2 to the power of 5 is 32, and 2 to the power of 2 is 4. Now that's what y is, but we want to find what x is, because it says solve this equation, so it means you're going to find what x is. So I know that y is equal to lin x. So what I can say is lin of 32 over 1 plus um, lin 4 is equal to lin x. So I can um, you know, write this in terms of, uh, change it into index form. I can say that means um, x is equal to e to the power of all of this. I could write it as a decimal, but I'm leaving it as exact form so that I can then give a more accurate answer. 
So I can just raise e to the power of this and I'll have my answer. So let me take out the calculator. Okay, so I'm going to put e to the power of, so shift e to the power of, and then I'm going to put lin32, so lin32, whoops, that was 33, lin32 divided by 1 plus lin4, 1 plus lin4. Okay, so that should give me my answer, and then they ask us to round it to two decimal places. So when I press equals, I get 4.2731. So x equals x equals 4.2731 dot 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 carries on. So we have to round our final answer to two decimal places. So you can say equals 4.27. So there's our final answer for this question to two decimal places. So that's how you deal with this question. I don't know why this is not going straight is that straight that's better okay so now yeah that's the answer to this question not too too difficult okay this is question number six from the endotopic worksheet so there we have it um now there's also another way we could have done this otherwise which would be basically to make them the same base so you would first split them up okay so you'd end up with basically the same thing you'd first split them up in fact i'll just show you on the next page how to do this part without using um, what we did before. So I'll just put it here and I'll just show you quickly. So basically you would make them the same and base. So first I'll say log to the base 2x is equal to, as we uh, worked out earlier, is going to be lin x over lin 2. So I'd say this is lin x over lin 2 equals 4 minus, and you you say lin x, x squared, which is 2 lin x, minus lin e and then you'd have lin x over lin 2 equals 4 um, minus 2 lin x and plus uh, 1 because remember this is a 1 this becomes 1 lin e is 1 so you end up here with lin x over lin 2 equals 5 minus 2 lin x and then we can uh, multiply both sides by by lin 2 so we have lin x equals 5 lin 2 minus um, 2 lin 2 times lin x okay which is lin 4 so then we can bring the lins together on one side so we have lin x um, plus and that's going to be lin 4 times lin x equals 5 lin 2, which is lin 32. So now I can take lin x as common. So lin x, and I'll have 1 plus lin 4 equals lin 32. So I end up with lin x equals lin 32 over 1 plus lin 4. So then I can say x equals e to the power of, and it's exactly the same thing, lin 32 over 1 plus lin 4. So you end up with exactly the same thing at the end. As you can see, that's exactly what we got before. Lin32 over 1 plus Lin4. Okay, so we can then put that in our calculator and we get the same answer. 2 point, what was it? 2 point, I forgot now, 37? 2, well, 4.27. 2.427. Okay, so the answer is 4.27 two decimal places so this is the way to do it otherwise this is the otherwise method where you don't use what you did in the part a you just simply you know change the, them to the same base and then solve the equation okay that's the way to do it here because they're in different bases here and basically what you realize you've already done a lot of that work in the part a so that's why it's easier to use hence normally so there we have it the answer to part to question number three from this uh, solomon paper Thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to place other questions um, in a playlist here for Solomon D papers. Uh, for all the Solomon D questions from P3 will be in this playlist. Other questions from exponential logarithms of P3 will be in this playlist. And you can subscribe to my channel from clicking on this icon over here. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.